Hello, quick guide sulfur phosphate test. Box. Instruction manual. Water cup holder thing. Syringe. Some drop solution. Some powder stuff and scoop to put in the water container. First step, very simple. You want to add 10 mils into your water beacon here. Your water syringe only goes up to five, so you need to do this twice. I've already put five mil in. The other five in. Little word of warning, you will get bubbles. Couple of taps, eject it up, and then you're good to go. Next stage, your drops. You want to put four drops of solution into the water. One, two, three, four and you want to give this a quick shake for 10 seconds. You've mixed it for 10 seconds. You now want to add in this powder stuff here. It's more like sort of crystals. You want to just put it in, level it off, chuck it in, and you want to swirl this for about 30 seconds. That's it now been mixed for its 30 seconds and it's ready to show on the chart. Now, as you can see, you're not going to be able to see the colour because of the blue lights on my fish tank, so it's all kind of blended in. However, my results come through about 0 0.03, which is ideally where I want it, especially if you've got SPS in your tank. This is a, an important parameter, like they all are. Try not have too much fluctuation. This is essentially the food for corals. Too high, you'll get algae problems. Too little, then you're essentially starving your, your system. So trying to keep an even balance of this is important.